Hey guys, you ever been sitting around thinking to yourself, wow, I wish I had an in-depth knowledge of every single technique in Fugata Each. Well, guess what? You've hit the right channel. We are going to do an in-depth dive of the first kata. Every technique, every step, every turn, all the looking, all the covering, all the blocking, all the techniques. We're going to talk about everything. And this is uh, uh, upon requests from you guys. I get a ton of questions from you about Fugata Each and how to do it properly. So this is my take on it. Thanks for sticking around and let's get started. All right, so the first technique obviously is the yoi position. Uh, in fact, even before that is the attention position. So let's just explore that, okay? So uh, uh, before you begin the kata, uh, you'll, you'll be standing sort of in this ready position, okay? Your legs should be slightly bent, okay? You don't want to have your legs locked out. You also don't want to have them sort of awkwardly bent, but you do want to have sort of like an athletic bend uh, slightly bent at the knees, um, as opposed to having your knees locked out, okay? Uh, your feet uh, are, your, your heels are touching, okay? But your, uh, your toes are not touching. In fact, your, your feet are sort of on this kind of 45 degree angle, and they come together and meet uh, at, the, at the heel, okay? So you, you want to try to kind of hit this sort of 45 degree angle, okay? Now for the hands, your right hand is on the bottom, your left hand is on the top, okay, and your hands are in this nukate position. You can see my fingers uh, are together as opposed to sort of apart like this. We call this kind of fork fingers. You don't want that. You want to have your hands together. And your thumbs are retracted and sitting sort of up against the side of the hand and tucked in, okay? The idea here is uh, a, a thumb that's sticking out can get caught on clothing or something like that. Uh, and injure yourself. So you always want to have your, your thumbs and your, your fingers sort of more shaped like a knife as opposed to like a fork or something like that, okay? So hands like this. Now, when you're assuming the yoi position, both palms are down, the, uh, the, the knuckle, the, the, the second knuckle from the left, okay, or the middle finger of the right hand, okay, that knuckle is going to be right below the same knuckle uh, on your left hand. So one knuckle is placed sort of right over the other knuckle, and that is the, the yoi position. You don't want to be, you know, gr gr grabbing or making like a semi-fist with your hands, okay? Again, you don't want the fork finger thing going on. You want to have your hands like so, and just sitting right out in front of your, of your belt, uh, the knob of your belt, like so, okay? And eyes uh, should be straight ahead, okay? Now, the first technique uh, uh, when the count comes is going to be the low block right, uh, to, the, uh, to the left. So let's explore that, okay? Uh, your first thing you do is look. You're always looking in the direction that your technique is going to be uh, delivered, okay? You look as, as you sort of bend your legs a little bit more because what you're gonna do now is you're gonna sort of keep your weight on your right leg and you're going to, you're going to reach out with your left foot, okay? And at the same time that you're doing that, you're getting into your cover position uh, because the low block starts with the cover position and ends with the block. So as you're sort of reaching out, you're sort of in this position, okay? Looking to the side, feet are sort of in this position. Your hip is still facing forward. And the reason why is because when you deliver the technique now, you want to be able to unleash that hip and have it help you deliver your technique, okay? You don't want to turn your body, step straight out, and block this way, because now you're, you've already given any, any tension that's built up in your, in your hip on your right side, you've, you've given it away before, you even, uh, uh, before you've even executed the block. So the block becomes more arms and not, and not body. All most karate techniques are tick with the hip. Okay, so let's try that. So the first technique, okay, feet, as we talked about, knuckles on the hands, knife hands. You're looking, covering, and then as soon as this foot touches the ground, you should be covered, okay? You should feel some tension here on the right side, and from there, you snap that technique out. Okay, now my hips are square to, to the side, or pointing in the same direction as my left uh, foot. Okay, I've delivered the block, I've squared up my hips. Now, I'm gonna be stepping forward and doing a punch, okay? Really big important thing to note here is 
Don't, uh, 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 be careful what you're doing with your, with your hip, okay? You, you wanna keep your hip facing, as you step, you wanna coil your hip or, or, or veering slightly off to the right because you're, you're about to deliver a punch with the right hand, so now you're gonna be unleashing the, the hip, okay? So you're in your low block, keep, keep, your, uh, keep your hip facing forward on the block, and then as you're stepping, coil, see? As opposed to just going, stepping straight up, cocking the hip, and delivering the punch. It's kind of like what we call a double hinge hip, which is, uh, I mean, it's one way to go about it, but it's definitely not the most efficient way, okay? Instead, you're here, take this right side, and cock the hip as you're stepping. See, now I'm coiled already, so that as soon as that foot touches down, I can deliver the technique, okay? So let's just try that one more time. I'm in my low block. I've delivered my low block. As I step, I cock the hip to the right to get this coil, coil position, right? It's all happening sort of as the foot's moving. As the right foot's coming through to go to position, you're cocking the right side and delivering the punch, okay? Let's move on. The next technique is you're gonna be delivering a low block now the other way, okay? So let's, let's think about what we're doing here. Obviously the first thing you're doing is looking over to the right, traditionally, okay? I've had conversations with people about you know, looking over to the left and then quickly looking back as they're stepping through. Okay, fine, uh, depending on if you've got you know, uh, your motion, range of motion and what you're comfortable with, but in the book, in, 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 tra in the traditional teaching of the kata, you look, over the, you look over the right shoulder. Now, as you're doing this, I want you to um, watch my left foot, okay? My, my foot, and you can see I'm gonna back up just a little bit, my left foot, I'm going to take it and turn it slightly off on an angle. This will help me turn because my, as I'm looking, my foot now needs to cross my body. Okay, you're obviously not stepping straight out because now if you turn in this, now I'm facing in the wrong direction. Okay, instead, when you turn, you you twist the left foot clockwise a little bit so that you can step straight back with that right leg. You see? Now I'm now I've crossed my center because when I go to do my turn, I'm now facing the right direction. Okay, so let's try that again. So I'm here, I cock the foot as I look, right? So I'm twisting that foot clockwise, that right foot, I'm on the ball of the foot, okay? So I'm moving the heel, the, the ball of the foot stays where it is, and I'm moving it into position as I look, right? And actually, you're starting to cover here too, right? It's like zip, zip, stepping straight through, block, okay? So a little more flowy. It would be like zip, okay? And then just like when we were doing this, the next technique is this punch, right? So just like we were doing the punch going this direction, we're, we're going to do the same, same idea. As you're stepping here, you're cocking that hip now towards the left side, right? You've, you've loaded, you're loading here because now, now there's tension here that I unleash into my, into my uh, punch. So I step through, it's like, okay? Good. Now, next technique, okay? I'm here, I'm looking. This is, oh, this is very similar to the, to the opening technique where you're looking and moving that leg out to the side, right, from here. I'm looking as I'm bending my knees slightly, coming into the cover position, making sure my hip is still off to the side. Again, you don't wanna do something like this. That's just arms, right? You wanna step through, cock, now the, ten, now the tension's here. I've, I've uh, covered, 
and I can snap the, the block out. So it's like zip, as opposed to zip, like that, right? It's more hold, 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 let it go. Okay? From there, you're doing the three punches, okay? So you want to make sure you're always loading, right? So it's like load on the leg that's stepping forward or the leg that's going to be in the front position uh, when you're in the punch, when you finish your punch. Okay, so you step through, load, 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 snap it out. Right, same thing. You're stepping through. And again, your leg should always be slightly bent. Okay, you don't want to be, you, you don't want your, your knees locked out. Same thing, you're stepping, you're holding the hip on that left side now, because the left leg is going to be the trigger to deliver the punch. So you're staying loaded, and it's like right, one, that's two. Now you're switching your hip to the, the, loading, the loading to the other side as you step through, right? You're not just stepping through with your belt buckle facing forward. Okay, you're stepping through. See, it's slightly off on an angle now. As I cock, and punch. Okay? Good. All right, now we're going to pick up uh, the, next, uh, the, the next set of techniques, okay, leading up to the, to the ki eye in the first kata, okay? Uh, so you're in this position. You've just, you've just done your first three punches, right? So we're like one, two, right? Block, punch, block, punch, punch, punch. We're right here, okay? Now, if you can see my foot here, this is very important, okay? I'm about to turn and go in this direction, okay? I'm stepping into an attack, presumably, right? Because I'm, block I'm blocking it. Or, you know, some more advanced ranks or, you know, people might say, well, this could be a strike. Well, okay, sure. But whatever it is, a block or a strike, whatever you're delivering here, you're stepping into it. There's something coming toward you, right? And you're stepping in to intercept it, okay? So let's work on the foot movement here, okay? You'll see people, when they do this technique, they will lift the heel slightly and turn the heel so that they, so that, that they step through and they deliver the block. The issue with that is you're moving your center slightly away from the attack. The attack is coming at you and you're moving your heel away from it. Only slightly, but it is away, right? So you've moved it away, and then you're stepping through and doing your block, okay? But remember, you're stepping into an attack. You're intercepting an attack. So it's important to, uh, uh, it's important to understand that the foot play here is a little bit different, okay? Watch. So you can see, I'm actually leaving my heel on the ground here and I'm slightly just lifting the ball of my foot off the ground and I'm moving it actually uh, in, a clock, in a clockwise direction and setting it that way as opposed to that way. It's more towards me as opposed to away from me. See the difference? So as I'm doing that, I'm looking and I'm covering. Okay, very important to cover. So I've brought my ball of my foot in a clock, uh, a counterclockwise direction, right? Leaving my heel on the ground, counterclockwise direction, set it as I look. Now I'm, I'm, all, coiled, I'm all coiled in here and I'm going to drive with the legs out with the block. Okay, it's very different, it's a subtle difference, but it's a big difference as opposed to stepping away, because now I'm not coiled, I've stepped away from the attack, and now I'm stepping into the attack, okay? When really, it, you, all your energy should be towards the attack right from the get-go, okay? So I'll just do that nice and slowly. I'm here, I look, ball of foot off the ground, counter, counterclockwise direction, as I cover. When I get set with my cover, I drive forward. Okay, one more time. Then my punch, covering, out. 
Okay, it's a big difference. Because here, when I'm here, uh, I'm just trying to stay centered for the camera above me here. Uh, when I'm here, I'm coiled and I can feel tension on the right side of my hip down in my groin area. There's a bunch of tension that's stored there, right? And I'm gonna be using that almost like, almost like a runner in a, in a runner start position, right? They've got that, their, their legs are coiled and bent and ready to push off. It's the same, it's a similar concept. I'm coiled and now I push and I unleash the hip all at once, okay? Following that, you're about to do a high block. Now again, you're gonna load, just like when you're doing a punch, right? You wanna load and deliver. You don't wanna, you don't wanna step up, cock, and then deliver. That's like this double hinge thing that I've been talking about. You wanna try to avoid that. Instead, as you step, keep in mind, keep that hip or, or work that hip off to the right side of it so you can store some energy there. See, and I kind of come up on my tippy toe a little bit, right? It's like, as I'm doing that, I'm moving into the, I'm moving into the cover position. So it's like, right? Down, okay, instead of stepping up, blocking. It's a more efficient movement. Okay, now the next technique is you're gonna step to, the, to, to, to your right and you're gonna do another, uh, another low block. Okay, important to look. Again, you should be looking over that right arm in the direction that you're moving. Okay, leaving the left leg where it is. Again, your legs are slightly bent, right? And you're keeping your weight over the left and you're reaching out with the right and you end up in this coil position, okay? Reaching out, coil position. There's tension there. And as soon as that right foot hits the ground, that's when you let it go. Okay, so you should be covering as you're reaching. And then you, from this position, you're like, right, it's like the whole hip comes and delivers the whole technique. So it's like, right? From here, you're gonna be loading on the left side, right? Because the left, the left leg is gonna be stepping forward and you're gonna be delivering that block with the left arm. So again, mindful, right? There's a lot of uh, things that repeat themselves in this kata with regards to how you're loading your hip, where you're loading your hip, and how you're turning your feet. So it's important to know these things uh, to make your kata uh, as efficient as you can, okay? So from this position, you're about to do your high block. So you're going to load on your left side because it's gonna be a left-handed uh, high block. See, I'm coiled here. I'm, co I'm not just facing straight and doing this double hinge at the end, right? Uh, I'm stepping through and covering and then I can deliver the block as soon as that foot touches the ground. In fact, I could deliver it anywhere along that plane before my, hit, my, foot, my foot hits the ground. You should be able to deliver the block at any time along the plane of the technique, right? So I'm here, stepping through. Good. Nice work. Okay. Let's take it from uh, the, the, uh, the, the second high block, okay? This, this technique, you're about to turn high, and then you, do, you deliver your ki eye here, and then you do four punches in a row, okay? So let's work on this. So you're here, right? First thing you're doing is the target or the opponent is sort of off in this direction, kind of coming at you from the same direction that you're your elbow is kind of pointed, pointed in, right? For me, it's kind of straight on down that way. So I, I can look, okay, just over my shoulder and I can see what's going on. So I see the attack coming and now I'm going to deliver my punch, right? So I'm here, I look, but this is the, this is the critical part. Keep the hip pointed in this direction. One, two, 
look, step, hip is still pointed. One, hip is still facing the same direction. Why? Because now I'm, I'm coiled, because I'm about to deliver, I'm about to deliver the punch with the right hand. So now I can deliver it with the whole body. Instead of, and I know I've kind of done this several times in, in the series of videos, talked about this, instead of turning, right, hips are now square to the target, so I have to load and then do the technique. Delay, not as efficient, right? Load right from here. I can deliver that punch right away. Right? And you're gonna repeat that motion uh, for all of these techniques, okay? And let's talk about the key eye. The key eye should be, you know, short, very condensed, and loud. You will see, and I, I'm, I'm sure we've all seen videos and whatnot of, of these ridiculous uh, kata competitions where the, the key eyes are, are over uh, emphasized and they become these long drawn out screens. Well, that's not Okinawan karate. Okay, Okinawan karate, our key eyes are short, condensed, sharp, and loud. Okay, so I'm looking. Hey! That's all it is. Okay, I'm doing three more punches now. So I'm just Hey, my key eye right now. I'm going to do three more punches. Okay. I'm stepping. As I step, I load onto the right. I'm, I'm doing a reverse punch now. So the side that you're loading your hips on, it changes because you're doing reverse punches as opposed to just chudanski. Uh, uh, you're doing gyakuski, right? Load. Don't just step through straight. Right? Don't just step through straight and go do that, okay? You want to load. See, my, my hip is already off facing the other direction. It's not straight on. It's turned slightly. There's a bunch of tension now in my leg. I can feel it in my knee, up through my quads, into my glutes, right? Load, then let the whole thing out. Okay, one. Same thing now. You're going to load on this side. Load, right, as opposed to just stepping through. I'm hoping you guys can see the difference here. I can feel the difference for sure. I'm hoping the camera is capturing the visual difference of loading, right? As soon as that foot hits the ground, you can unleash. One more punch, right? Stepping through, loading again. Load it on that left side because I'm punching with the left hand, right? Loading. Good. Okay. Now for the final four techniques. We, uh, we sort of brushed on this a little bit when we were talking about the turn at the front, the first turn, you know, before you do your first high, uh, your first high block, right? In the first cut, you're here. Again, watching my feet. Okay. Stepping, ultimately I'm stepping into an attack just like I was in the previous low blocks, right? So bring your foot towards you, rotating it, on, rotating it on the heel, not on the ball of the foot, on the heel in a counterclockwise direction. So you're almost bringing your knee and your leg right underneath your center, which there's nothing wrong with that, right? So you're here, bringing it in, I can already feel the tension there when I do that. Boop, as I'm looking, right, as I'm looking, as I'm covering. See? S covered, right? S covered. S now I push off with the right side. S and I, as I'm doing that, that's all that hip, all that tension that I've built up uh, from doing this twist I'm now like, as I'm driving forward, it's like out with it all at once. So the, the block is not just the arm, the block is the rotation of the body, the, the unfurling of the hip, and the forward drive of, of, of the, you're driving the technique off in this direction, okay? So nice and easy. I'm here, 
coiling, right? One, stepping up, two, like just like that, good. From here now, you're gonna be delivering a punch with the right hand, so you're gonna coil on the right side. Coil, right? Not just stepping straight up, coil. Slight little, build that tension, right? Load it, load, snap it out. From here, you're now, you're looking, right? And again, flexing the knee, staying on that left side as you, as you cover. Look, cover, reach. See, I'm, my hip is still facing this direction because now I can unfurl everything in, in the block all at once. Okay, here. Stepping up to do the final punch, loading on the left side, right? So there's gonna be a little hip turn, right? Load, don't just step straight up into it, okay? Instead you wanna, see my hips have slightly turned? And, right, so it's like, okay, and then right from here now, uh, the yoi position, I'm gonna turn around here because uh, I want to face the camera here when I'm showing you how to do this. So the, the last technique is your left hand, right hand, or left foot, left hand are out. Your you've punch, high punch. Now, your left or your right foot is off on a little bit more of an angle. You know, really what you want is like a 45 degree angle with, with the right foot in, when you're in the yoi position. But because of the technique that you've just done, it's probably more like a 60 or 65 degree angle, it's a little bit too, uh, too shallow. So as you bring your hands in to assume the yoi position, you sort of lift your left foot off the ground and you scooch that heel in to where it needs to be. It's like zoop, and then you bring the other foot in to meet it, right? It's like zoop, should be able to pivot, pivot right on the spot and bring, bring those feet together at that 45 degree angle that we're all chasing, right? So you're here, it's like rotating. As you're bringing the hands down, remember, nukate, keep the thumbs tucked in. The middle knuckle on the right hand is underneath the middle knuckle for the left hand, right? So it's like zoop. From there you leave your feet where they are hands at the side, and usually we'd like to do a nice little bow when we end our kata. Great. <laughs>